Hey, it's Teresa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen uh, for another Baking with Trevor episode, the holiday edition. Um, as I said in a couple of other videos, I have cut down the amount of holiday baking and goods that I'm making this year. Um, peppermint bark, puppy chow, and this winter, uh, the copycat of the Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bar. Um, I've been making them probably about four years now, something like that, maybe more. Um, because I fell in love with them, but at $3 a shot, they were not economically feasible um, every time I went in there. Um, so I saw this recipe in Todd Wilbur's Top Secret Recipes, the Top Secret Recipes Unlocked by Todd Wilbur. And um, I've been making this recipe. Also, there's one from Skinny Taste. So if you're on a perennial diet, always on a diet, there is a great version at Skinny Taste. I've done that one too. Um, it's a little bit drier, okay? Because it doesn't use as much butter or as many fattening things and it doesn't have as much sugar. It's not as sweet, uh, but it is very good. Um, so you can use either recipe. I will link to both of them if I can in the notes below. Um, anyway, so we're gonna make Cranberry Bliss Bars uh, from this recipe, although he says it makes six of them, but really that's giant pieces, and I'm making these as a gift, so probably going to make about 12 of them, 12 little triangles, because as you know, they, and they used to be really large at the store, at, at Starbucks, they used to be like this big, now they're about half the size, that's about the size I'm making. Anyway, so, and many of us do, we go into Starbucks and we get swayed to buy one of those yummy, delicious things. And uh, years ago I decided that I wanted to figure out how to make them. Um, I didn't have to look too far because there in my email was a version from Todd Wilbur. And so I made it and it tasted almost exactly the same. Although I really think that the base of this is not the real thing, that the base is not cake. I think it's more of a shortbread type cookie base, which is a little bit more buttery, um, but I'm not too sure of that because A, I don't work there, and B, I don't know anybody who works there. <laughs> um, but to my tongue, to my taste buds, that's what it tastes like. He calls it a cake and uh, with, with the white chocolate and the cranberries in it. Um, but I think it's more between a cake and a cookie. Anyway, so I'm going to teach Trevor how to make cranberry bliss bars. And uh, we will be giving them out as gifts, as usual, with the peppermint bark and puppy chow. Okay, so here's the setup. Okay, we've got to mince up some dried cranberries. We've got to chop up some white chocolate. Um, I've already got three tablespoons of crystallized ginger minced up. And I've got everything else measured out. So Trevor is going to finish mincing the cranberries and chopping up the chocolate. And then we have a couple of things to do by the mixer. And we will use the mixer to make the cranberry bliss bar base okay so as I said hold it with one knife with one hand and no nope, put the tip down tip down and then just go over the biggest chunks yeah uh, uh, there's one there so right. just rinse around a little bit When you think you've got it enough, put it into that container, that uh, measuring cup. Because this is an old Tupperware measuring cup, and they measured by quarter cups. So they have a quarter cup, a half cup, a three-quarter cup measuring cup, a two-thirds cup, and a one-third cup. Most of the sets these days are just a quarter, a third, a half, and a cup. 
or maybe a two cup. They don't have the mid, yeah, you know, the mid uh, ones. I think that's good enough. Just clear, yeah, you know, carefully clean it off, and then scoop it in there. It's not too much to touch, and it's not too, you know, yucky feeling for you who is so tactile. And tactile things bother you. So. My hands are perfectly clean because I just washed them. Okay, that's good enough. All right, now you're just gonna cut this into quarters, just like you know, about this, about this size. You know, we just have to do it like four times, three times maybe across, and then just put that little pile over here. Okay. You can do it with that if you want. Just don't get any of those cranberries in. Away from the uh, cranberries. Okay, that's good enough too. Okay, now let's also move this so that the dog can't get to it. Yeah. Because we know she will. Um, speaking of which... Roxy, come on sweetie. And, um, okay, so first we're going to measure out the rest of the ingredients. So we got light brown sugar. Okay. You can really fill up that, that, uh, scoop. If you want. All right, and then we'll get them in, yeah, you know, then we'll get it in the oven. And I'll take a picture of it when it's, or I can turn this on and show it out of the oven, right? And then I can move this thing up, you know, and film myself saying uh, the last few yeah, things. Yeah, so... Right? right. Let's no, no, they need to fill this one too. Uh. Actually, you didn't really get this all the way up. So, I told you, you gotta level it. That's why you had it on top of the paper. Alright. That's why you level it as much. Oh, that's good. Right. And then you just do the same thing with this one. Because you need one and a quarter cups. Okay. Alright, that's good enough. Alright. Then you're going to butter the outside and all right that's why you keep it in the wax paper so that you don't have to touch it since you don't like touching mm. just do the best you can all right all around the sides the best you can up and up and up onto the sides got it fairly well coated, you know, all around that side and whatever, because you don't want it to get stuck, okay, that's why most people use non-stick, I don't have a non-stick 8 by 9 by 13, okay, and usually things come out of this temptation stuff pretty easily, I don't know what it's supposed all right. to, alright, alright, well, leave that, and then you see the, uh, did last time, I didn't do this last didn't time, alright, you're going to put it up, and then you're going to twist it. Come on. Up, up and twist. Okay. And there you go. Oh. All right. Okay. So, all right, this is pretty much... All right. Now, we'll start. All right. Obviously, we have to um, beat the butter and the sugar, brown sugar together. So, here's the butter. All right. So... Just, this is six ounces of butter, so it's sticking a, I think it's sticking a half. Or three quarters of a stick, we're going to do this. Right. so. Now, usually I use unsalted butter. This time I didn't have any at the time. Now I do, but uh, this was already ready. Um, so this is uh, the uh, Kerrygold. Sure. Okay. All right. All right, now you're going to add your brown sugar. 
All right. And you're going to put it on low. You're going to put it on low. All right. You're going to start beating it. All right. Got it? So I'm put it on. second and get around the sides of the ball push the stuff down okay now you gotta do it with this side probably, like this yeah see it's curved in yeah and so you just go around the edge okay all right good then Turn it back on. again and then we're going to add in the cranberries and the white chocolate chunks and then we're going to just let it go one time around all right one time around all right okay good all right now you're gonna and just put it like yeah i was gonna say put it in here like leaning into it Lean it into here so it doesn't get all over the here. Okay, now add the cranberries. Alright. 
and carefully pick up the paper and start pouring in the white chocolate chunks. Alright. You don't have to do it that slow. <laughs> Just pour it in. Just making sure. Alright. Mm -hmm. Just until it's incorporated. Because you don't want to really break down the, uh, you don't want to break down the mixture. Okay, you're going to need this. Um, so, what does this say? You see, now it says, pour the batter into butter, not by throw a pea, use a spatula to spread the batter, bake for 25 to 30 minutes until the cake is lightly brown. Alright, so, you're going to hold this like this, and then scoop it all out into the thing, spread it out with your offset spatula. Okay. We're gonna tap it to make sure we get out any air bubbles. And it's in the oven is already set to 350, right? So we just have to um we just have to um bake it 25 to 30 minutes. All right, and then you have to leave anyway, so once it's out. So I will make up the frosting. Well, the frosting, as I said, I'm using a pre-made frosting this time because we've got it in the house. Sure. Hold it. Boom, boom. See, normally I also spray the spatula with that. What's it called? That um, I spray it with the um, cooking spray, you know, so that it comes off the spatula better, easier. Right. Okay. All right. And then you just start spreading it. Okay. Okay. Start spreading it out. You do that side, I'll do this side. Actually, may, you may need to use this. Just get, through, get it into the corners. Mm -hmm. Try to make it evenly and even. Even amount. Mm -hmm. yeah, fill in all the spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Does that look even? Like yeah. It, yeah, it looks pretty even. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there you go. Alright. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Uh, and mm. now, shall we put it, put it into the oven? Put it into a 350 oven. Yes. Okay. So take it out of the oven in half an hour. Hopefully it'll be done. Stuff. Uh, okay. Go. Okay. So the uh, cake, quote unquote cake, which is more of a, um, I think a cookie, but a bar cookie, um, is cooled off. It's the next day. It's all cooled off, ready to go. Trevor is finishing. Uh, chopping up the cranberries. Two thirds of that's going to go into the frosting. Okay. He's going to spread the frosting on with the offset spatula. And then we're going to take the icing, which is powdered sugar, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of Crisco whisked together. I'm putting it into a squeeze bottle. And we're going to try to squeeze it over the top. We'll see if that works or not. If not, you can always just take a fork and go boop, 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 boop. Make a little icing. All right, I think it's good enough. All right, clean mm -hmm. off the knife carefully. Okay, give me the knife. Okay, and then you're gonna take, I'd say about two thirds. Okay, put it in here. 
Okay. So we can rest it on. I want as much of it as you can get. Okay. Alright, and then we can then fold it in. Fold in. Fold in. Okay, get the rest of that. Okay, folding. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put it on top. Okay. Now you can use you can make your own cream cheese frosting like the recipe calls for or you can buy a good company's version. Um, this one is from the Food Network or somebody who uh, is famous for cakes. Okay. Go spread that all the way evenly out. Meanwhile we'll, we'll whisk this together. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can pour it in to the squeeze bottle. I mean, I also could have put it into a pastry bag, like I use at work, with a um, tip. But I thought this would be easier for everybody. I'm not that great with a pastry bag yet. Um, okay. Alright, you're doing a good job. Mm. 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 Doesn't have to be extremely gorgeous or anything. Yeah. Actually, you can get to this side and, and do it in this way. Ugh. All right, go wash your hands. Stop being a baby. All right, I'll flatten it out. You did a pretty good job, though. You know what it is? It's kind of lumpy from the uh, cranberries. So. And you did a pretty decent job for a first time. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the rest of them and sprinkle them around the top. Okay. Okay, so I'm putting the rest of them around the top. Okay. And then you're just going to go like this. Let's see. Because we're going to cut them this way and that way and make triangles. You want them, all right, you want it like this, all right, just do that as much as you can across. I don't know if there's enough in there for everything, but just like, right, you have to shake it or else it's going to make that noise. <laughs> you might have to make more. I love what makes that noise. All right, it's obviously not enough. The recipe calls for only one little amount. You now we can take whatever. All right, and just just get whatever we can out. Okay. Oh. All right, now we're gonna try to with the frosting on. See if we can judge the all right i think this will be good they don't have to be totally all right and then i guess if you want them absolutely perfect you cut them up first and then after you frost them and then you ice them but okay i'm gonna cut it he says to cut it long so that you have like little rectangles, but I want them to look more like Starbucks actually. Okay. I want them to look more like the actual thing. So I'm going to cut them. Then I'm going to cut them across. Okay, into the famous 
triangles. Okay. Also, usually most years I don't mix the cranberries into the frosting like the recipe calls for. I usually just sprinkle them on top. But this time I wanted to do it as the recipe says. So. Okay, so. One more. One. Okay, almost there. And this will make 12, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 of them. And they're basically the size of the real thing these days. As I said, they've shrunk them a little bit. Actually, maybe it's about the size they used to be. It's more like it. Now, of course, it might be harder to get it out of here. Uh huh. Here we go. There we go. There you go. It's a cranberry bliss bar. You want to taste? No. No? What's wrong with you? It's a cookie base. I love the fruit. Oh, I'll try it later. Uh, anyway, there it is. Cranberry Bliss Bars. They're for gifts anyway. All my uh, co co-workers are going to get one along with some poppy. Uh, uh, along with some puppy chow. And some of my famous, uh... okay, so everybody's going to get one from my job. There's about 10 to 12 people I work with and a couple of extra people um, who work for the store who I'm friendly with, who I want to share a little um, holiday cheer with and show them how much I appreciate what they do. And... Um, so, they're each going to get a Cranberry Bliss Bar, some Puppy Chow, and some um, of the famous, um, what was the other stuff? <laughs> and some of the um, Peppermint Bark, the famous Peppermint Bark. And uh, instead of the millions of different things I usually make, right? The chocolate covered marshmallows, the chocolate covered pretzels. She makes pretzels. all the things. Yes, chocolate covered pretzels, oven caramel, corn with white chocolate, and cranberries, and all those other things. I'm not making all that this year because, obviously, I'm working and I'm tired. And so um, I thought this would be an easy thing to put together along with the peppermint bark. And I still haven't done the puppy chow, but we're going to get to that in another couple of days. I think I have everything for that. So, I hope everybody enjoyed watching Trevor learn how to make cranberry bliss bars, even though he won't try one because he's a picky one. Picky. I'll, I'll try one at some point. All right. Picky, 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 picky. Hasn't changed since he's wee high. Um, I oh, like what I like. I know. Well, you're better. You're better. I have to say he's better, but he's also 23 now. Started being a little bit better by about 14. Um, so he's a little better. I have to say he's better. I mean, 10 years ago, he wouldn't have drank that soup last night. Wouldn't have touched it. <laughs> wouldn't have touched it with a 10-foot pole. Um, but now, he said, it's good. It was great. Yeah, see? She's been killing it. I've been killing it with soups lately. Been leaving soups in the instant pot because it's the easiest thing to put together. That and pasta, easiest thing to put together and leave on warm for everybody to eat while I'm working three to ten. So, um, yeah, it's been pretty good. So anyway, so this is one of the three things I'm making for gifts. Okay, everybody will see also the puppy chow, and um, very soon they'll see the peppermint bark, which we're going to post this week. So, I hope you enjoyed watching Trevor learn how to make Starbucks copycat um, cranberry bliss bars. And uh, please like the video, subscribe, and press that little bell. And uh, come back again for more baking and fun at Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. Bye.